Atomic radius is just a fancy way of referring to the size of an atom. From math, you have a very good understanding of what the radius represents. So if this is an atom, there's its nucleus. The radius is going to be the distance between the nucleus of an atom and the outermost boundary of its electron cloud. This radius is actually impossible to measure directly because this point on an atom is one that's impossible to locate. The electron cloud doesn't have a clear or definite boundary. It just kind of fades off into space. So we cannot make this measurement because we cannot find this point. If we want to measure the radius of an atom, we actually have to get two atoms identical to each other. So two identical atoms, connect them to each other or bond them together side by side and measure the distance between their two nuclei. And as you can see, that distance corresponds to two radii. This is how we get atomic radius data. In this video, we're going to be looking at the periodic trend of increasing atomic radius. So what I'm sketching right here is my quick and dirty representation of the periodic table. So this rectangle represents the periodic table, uh, which kind of has a rectangle -ish shape. So there's my periodic table. And again, the trend that we're going to draw is increasing atomic radius or increasing atomic size. So we are looking for the trend of increasing size. What we're asking ourselves is if we're working within any column on the periodic table, does atomic size increase as we go down that column or does atomic size increase as we go up? And then also if we're working in any given row on the periodic table, does atomic size increase as we go to the right or does atomic size increase as we go to the left? This is the trend that we're looking for. So we're going to represent our increasing atomic size with arrows. And just to be really, really clear, our arrows are going to go from small size to large size atom so there's no confusion now this um, atomic radius trend is one half intuitive one half not intuitive here's the intuitive part as you go down any column on the periodic table atoms get larger and that should make perfect sense to you let's write this out increases the size increases as we go down any column and the reason for that, the, the chemist's explanation, is because the principal quantum number n also increases as we go down any column. So let's kind of draw out what a chemist means when they say that. So if you have an atom where the highest value of n is n equals 1, it might have a relative shape like this. But if you have another atom where the highest possible value of n is n equals 2, well, it's just going to be larger. So as we add more and more values of n, our atoms get larger and larger. And that's the trend that we see as we go down any given column on the periodic table. Without exception, as you go down a column, the atoms go larger. So small atoms up here at the top, large atoms up down at the bottom. That's the intuitive part of the trend. Now, the other trend that we're looking for is as we stay within a, a row, but as we go from left to right within the row, do atoms increase as we go from left to right or from right to left? And what we see is that atoms increase as we go from right to left, which is counterintuitive. Let's write this out and explain this. So our trend is that we see that atoms increase from right to left, in any given row, so in a row. Now the reason that this is not intuitive is because as we go from left to right, so now we're talking about going in the opposite direction, as we move from left to right, we add more and more particles to our atoms. So the atoms that are over here have fewer protons, fewer neutrons, and fewer electrons. Atoms over here have more protons, more neutrons, and more electrons. So because these atoms on this side have more particles, it would be intuitive for us to think that they would be larger, again, just simply because they have more particles. That would make sense. But what we do know is that as we're, as we're working within any given row, the principal quantum number does not 
not change. So in any given row, we have, let's just say, um, let's say that we're working in an n equals 2 row. So in any given row, n equals 2 versus n equals 2, the principal quantum number is not increasing, so the outermost boundary of an atom is not just getting stacked larger and larger. What we do know is that as we go across the periodic table from right to left, the number of protons increases. So the more protons, and as we have more protons in an atom, we know that the effective nuclear charge increases goes up, or you might refer to that as ZEFF. So the effective nuclear charge increases. When the effective nuclear charge increases, that means that this nucleus is getting stronger and stronger and more, more positive, which causes these electrons in the outermost energy level to feel a really strong nucleus. And those electrons get pulled in as a result of that increasing positively charged nucleus. So the trend that we see is that as we go from left to right, and as we increase, I'm going to have to erase this, increase the number of protons, we increase the effective nuclear charge, and therefore decrease the size of an atom. So let's see if we can write this out. As we go from left to right, the number of protons will increase the energy level does not change the effective nuclear charge or zeff will increase and the electrons are getting pulled tighter or closer to the nucleus so this is, this is a little bit of a confusing conversation because sometimes I'm talking about going left to right and sometimes I'm talking about going right to left and I know that that makes it kind of confusing. But as we go from right to left and as we increase the number of protons, we therefore increase the effective nuclear charge which calls, causes our electrons to get sucked in tighter. So these atoms out here on this side of the periodic table are being sucked in, their electrons are being sucked very close to their, their nucleus and therefore these atoms are smaller, these atoms over here that are experiencing a weaker effective nuclear charge, their electrons are allowed to stay further away, and so these atoms are larger. So again, our trend for atomic size is that it increases as we go down, and it increases as we go from right to left.